Well, we know Florida is bracing for Hurricane Milton's impact, so let's give you another live look at what's happening right now in Sarasota. You can see the rain just coming down really hard in the city right now. Let's get to Chief Meteorologist Pete Delkis uh, for an update. Hey, Pete. Yeah, Chris, and conditions will only worsen as, as the night moves along right now, just a couple of hours away from landfall. Sometime between 8 and 9 o'clock tonight in the greater Tampa Bay area. Tampa Bay is, is when you say Tampa Bay, that's like saying North Texas. Tampa is within Tampa Bay. Dallas, Fort Worth, Dallas or Fort Worth are within North Texas. So I know a lot of folks, maybe if you haven't spent much time there, you're just not aware of it, but the Tampa Bay is a, a region. It's a region of West Central Florida, and this system is going to make landfall in that part of the state. Right now, 150 miles uh, southwest of Tampa, winds at 120, gusting to 125. Its forward speed is northeast at 15 miles per hour. Look at the wind speeds. Uh, St. Pete, Clearwater, Bradenton right now, Sarasota, Bradenton. 77 mile an hour winds down the coast in Venice at 68. Uh, you even head over to Sebring, it's 32. Kissimmee is 30. Up in Orlando, it's 31. Over in Fort Pierce on the, uh, the, the east side of the state, you're looking at winds at 35. So this system is going to just impact, uh, uh, have a dramatic impact on the entire peninsula of Florida. Already a tornado watch in effect, in effect anywhere from Daytona on over to Hernando and then all locations south. So Two thirds of the peninsula right now under a tornado watch. They've had multiple tornadoes today. This whole central part of the state, west coast to east coast and everything in between is under a hurricane warning up to the north. Jacksonville's under tropical storm warning uh, down in South Florida, Miami, down to Key, uh, Key Largo, then all the way down to Key West under a tropical storm warning. So again, a huge impact. There's the system right now. Category three landfall. 830 ish, give or take 30 minutes. That's why I said eight to nine, a major hurricane when it makes landfall. We're looking at winds of, you know, 125, maybe up to 130. A, a, a wobble, these things, it, these things always wobble. It has been wobbling. So the landfall is not exact at this moment, but again, it's really, really right there, uh, just, just outside of Sarasota right now, just to the south of Tampa. And as it moves across the state, it stays a hurricane. It will have no, and I want to be clear on this, it will have no impact anywhere else in the United States uh, from a meteorological standpoint, okay? All of the, the issues that are going to uh, happen with this storm, all of those issues are going to take place across the state of Florida, and then it just moves out to sea. So no impact anywhere else in the southeast, the mid-Atlantic, the northeastern United States, only in the state of Florida with this storm. And right now, they're, they already have uh, a surge is already taking place on the west coast, but it could be up to a foot or more anywhere from Sarasota down to Fort Myers. Uh, f one to two feet of rain. That's what's in the forecast, so it's going to be horrible down there tonight. Already bad right now, but it will only worsen. High today was 86. The morning low was 67. The normals are 81 and 60. Finally, some cooler weather on the way. 86 outside right now with a light wind out of the east at three miles an hour. Big ridge of high pressure. That's the story. Finally, a cool downs in the forecast. So tonight's pretty nice. Dry, cool light wind 64 is the low tonight during the day tomorrow a dry warm sunny day uh, we'll hit 89 as we head through the day tomorrow the next 14 days there they are we're in the 90s we're going to be touching or very near record highs this weekend then a cold front moves through and that uh, cools things down monday's in the 80s uh, then we're in the tuesday uh, on tuesday and wednesday we're in the 70s could see a sprinkle on wednesday but that's it i mean that's the only rain other than that other sprinkler possible stray shower on Sunday, Sunday, October uh, 20th. Those are the only two rain chances. And again, it's doesn't get much lower than that unless we drop it to zero. So there you go. Otherwise, finally, some cooler weather that will not happen this week. We only warm up to near record highs Saturday and Sunday. Uh, 80s on Monday, 70s in the forecast, uh, Tuesday through Friday. And then we're back in the 80s, at least uh, touching 80, 81. And then we stay in the 80s as we head into the uh, the week of October 21st.